iPad solution. So, uh, Learnpad is a solution for uh, Android bases and tablets. Uh, and really it does three key things. The first thing it does is lock down and secure the uh, Android interface for the children. So, they can't access system settings, um, they can't turn off the Wi-Fi, they can't configure things. We lock them down uh, and we allow the teachers to present uh, a set of activities that the children want to do for a given period of time. So, um, we do that by creating what we call a profile. Uh, and a profile is basically a collection and a group uh, of different activities. Um, and an activity can be a number of different things. Uh, an activity can be an Android based app, it can be a link to a website, uh, it can be an audio or video file, it can be a PowerPoint presentation, a Word document, uh, a PDF file, any kind of digital resource uh, that the LearnPad supports. Um, one of the key features of LearnPad is it supports Flash, so websites such as Education City uh, all runs nicely on, uh, on LearnPad and you can use those interactive online resources that you're, you've been using for, for many years. Um, so back to our, um, our profile here, what we've done is we've allowed uh, the, the teachers to create a profile and actually group activities together. So on our sort of standard primary profile here, um, we have groups, uh, activities for literacy and language, numeracy, science and nature, uh, the world around us, design and creativity, music and video. And within each category then we have, as I say, those different resources um, that are uh, aligned with that particular area of teaching. So here we've got um, an Android app, a maths app there that you can use. Um, we've also got uh, links to websites, TBC online websites, for example, flash-based content there running in the browser. The children can access and run that very, very easily on the device. So we have security, we have control, we have lockdown, and we have the ability to customise and change that interface there. Um, we talked about profiles, and uh, what we like about profiles is we can change what, what content is available for the students based on whether we are teaching certain topics or subjects or uh, different years or uh, ability students. And we do that by using uh, QR codes. And QR codes are little barcodes, and we can scan those barcodes using the built-in camera on the device, uh, and that will then change the profile for us and deliver us a new set of learning resources, a new set of, of learning content. Um, and I'll show you that now. Um, and here's uh, some profiles that we've created previously and the little QR codes that we've made for them. Uh, these are all generated automatically uh, via the LearnPad Connect management page and I'll show you a little bit of that in a minute. So if we take uh, perhaps uh, uh, primary history here for example, what the students can do is simply go to the device, draw a little circle in the centre of the screen and that pulls up the, uh, the camera. We then use the QR code, we flash that on the device, oh, pick it the top one there, and it's picked up the geography profile. And now let's change that interface and profile completely. So now we have a different set of resources for geography. Now it may be that we've only got a few activities in there. Maybe we're only doing a couple of things, maybe one or two websites or one app. We focus the students' attention on those particular activities. And all they can do there is what we want them to do for one particular area or one particular topic or subject. We can just have one category in the middle, maybe with one activity, and then the tablet is used just for that purpose uh, for that period of time, whether it's a morning, a lesson, an hour, or perhaps a whole week. So you can completely change and customize that interface based on that. Well, now, that's great when you've got one tablet. What happens when you've got a classroom full of tablets? The teachers try to manage and control different content on different devices at different times for different students. It just becomes a bit of a headache. So what we've designed is our uh, LearnPad dashboard. And our LearnPad dashboard is basically a window, a view into the classroom tablets. It allows the teacher to take a look at the tablets that are in the classroom from one simple web-based page. There's no servers to install, there's no software to install in the school. It's all web-based. So what we're having here is we're looking at this uh, dashboard for our stand here where we have all our tablets laid out. Uh, and on the dashboard, we've actually grouped them. Uh, we can do that dynamically. We could select a number of tablets and we could just dynamically create a group, perhaps for a certain study group for a given time. Um, so we have here bench one, bench two, bench three, which are our benches back here. Um, the tablets we have on our pillar. And also we've got four tablets you probably see around the board here uh, on our smart board. So what I'm going to do focus on our smart board devices at the moment. Um, filter down the selection so I can just see those devices. So now for the Holy Spirit, I'll just make them a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. So here's our tablets right now. You can see them around the edge of the board. And we've got one of them that's 
in the geography profile at the moment, and three that are in the uh, LearnPad primary profile. So what I want to do is actually want to take a look and see what's going on. So what I can do is get this button here. That's going to give me a real-time view of what's going on on the tablet. Now, when the children are accessing the content, I can actually see what's going on on the device itself, right at that low level. Uh, if I want a particular, uh, pick a particular tablet, I'm going to select this one here, take a look at that one, and I can put it into presentation mode, and I can see full screen what that student is doing on that device. Perhaps they're reading playing the piano, see that? Perhaps they come back out and they've got into the design of creativity uh, and maybe they're doing some painting. We can see what's going on. Uh, perhaps the student there has done a really good little picture.
we can also mute the devices. Perhaps they're all uh, using headphones or listening to some audio or video. We want to get the student's attention. So we can just mute the devices immediately. Um, we can also interact with the student by sending messages. So perhaps the student's gone you know, not to the right place or wants to send a message. So yeah, this is a, a very good piece of work. Well done. You can actually uh, write a message to that child. little message on the device there, so I'll click on that uh, and then see the message as well. Uh, that's quite a useful feature if, for example, maybe you sent a couple of children to the library uh, or maybe out to do a field trip or something else, they've taken the device with them. Uh, we can then actually, first of all, look at what's going on so we can remotely monitor what those students are doing uh, in the library. And then if it's time to come back, we send them a message, tell them it's time to come back. Um, or alternatively, again, we can freeze and lock the tablet uh, and have them return to the classroom. So it's bringing those features and controls uh, onto the device itself.